Cyclona Saga quickly gathering strength in the Hypo South Pacific. And now the latest on tonight's Hypo Weather Bulletin for January 2nd, 2024. So Tropical Storm Asaga is quickly gathering strength as it moves to the south, uh, well yeah, generally south of Fiji, uh, and it is the only actual storm active, it is the first storm of the year. Duh. Well let's take a look at the Atlantic, it's 150 days until hurricane season, there's nothing happening here, so I just thought I'd just put myself on AI in front of you. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was from quite a few years ago, actually. Let's move to the Ethan Pacific, where it's 133 days until hurricane season there. Uh, and as you can see, there's not much happening at all. And I don't expect we'll... Whoa! Oh my goodness, it's Ethan Bruning. He's staring into your soul. Oh no, now he's just had a stroke. Okay, Western Pacific, there are no areas of interest here. No systems have formed so far in 2024 in this basin, nor have they in the Indian Ocean, north or south. At this point, I imagine I should probably tell you a little story. Uh, the problem is I don't really have any right now. Only the time when Hotsum was on a call talking about how he used to try and incubate eggs and pretend he was a chicken. <laughs> in front of Marcel Holos, no less. Uh, but apart from that, I really can't tell you anything else about the uh, Indian Ocean right now. South Pacific's where it's at, we've got a saga and moderate chance of development for the Coral Sea. 40% chance now for a system that could go on to affect New Caledonia later in the week or this weekend. A saga, of course, is strengthening and looks like it will now become a substantial storm and probably reach hurricane strength. It is 261 kilometers south southwest of Kadavu, 377 from Suva, the capital of Fiji, 895 from Nukualofa, the capital of uh, Tonga, 1107 from Raoul Island, and 1774 from Auckland, moving exactly 100 miles in that 100 kilometers in that direction in the last 24 hours so it's not a fast mover uh, but it is a quickly strengthening storm right now because at this latest update we are now giving it on satellite imagery 70 miles per hour uh, it has strengthened quite a lot and it looks like it will become the first hurricane strength storm of the year worldwide we'll wait and see whether that happens but it looks like it will sea surface temperatures still look good 27 degrees celsius uh, of course it hasn't moved that much so those temperatures are dropping a little bit more than that uh, due to upwelling uh, in the indian ocean though it's looking pretty normal there as well and i can tell you right now that wind shear is minimal over uh, a saga and water vapor is looking really good so the first name of this Atlantic hurricane season this year is Adam. In the Eastern Pacific it's Annabelle, and in the Central Pacific, believe it or not, we are still waiting for Anna Coney. One storm so far this year, we don't know what the average is because we've never run a whole year in Hyper Earth. In the Western Pacific, the first name this year will be Sandan. In the North Indian Ocean, it's Dima. A little bit of real talk there, it is supposed to reflect climatological norms, so fingers crossed we get close to average 92 storms in a year. In the Australian region, the first name is Ashley, the Southwest Indian Ocean, Andre, and in the South Pacific now, the next name is Blair. That's all from tonight's tropical Hyper Earth Weather Bulletin. Oh, I did it. I did it already. Good night.